okay viewers so this video is about physics concept reflection of light so I am going to explain how to draw the ray diagrams for a concave mirror in all the different six positions starting from the infinity position to the position between focal point and the pole okay so if you follow the scale measurement so we will get the perfect diagrams if you follow the same measurement for all the diagrams at different positions then you will get the perfect value we know that radius of curvature is 2 times of focal length r is equal to 2f that is focal length point and c center of curvature c is the center of curvature center of curvature c and focal point f ok so now I am taking a measurement of 10 centimeters so 5 and 4 4 I am dividing at 6 and also at 2 that means 4 and 4 this is nothing but the focal point and this is center of curvature <laughs> how to draw the pole so this one with the radius focal point and drawing one arc so concave mirror means curved inwards so the surface of the, the reflecting surface will be curved inwards curved inwards now object at infinity position at infinity the object is placed so I am taking the object at infinity position how the rays will pass parallel to the principal axis so first we need to draw the straight line from top of the object so this is the object I am drawing the parallel line to the pole so this is the parallel line to the pole from the top and also the bottom same thing you repeat so parallel to the principal axis this is nothing but principal axis principal axis ok now these rays reflect that means the converging we know that concave mirror converges the rays so this value converges at f this value and this value that means the top and the bottom rays parallel to the principal axis will reflect and converge at focal point so now image formed at focal point f ok viewers so ray diagrams first at infinity position so I drawn this one so this is the object and the image formation is at focus so nature of the image is the real image why because this is appearing in front of the mirror so this is the mirror surface so in front of the mirror so this is a real image if it is appearing beyond behind the mirror means that will be a virtual image so real image highly diminished how much diminished means a point size that means it appears like a just like a point that is at focus so this is at an, this is the nature of the image so now second position that means beyond C so this is the object so I am taking one centimeter length object value so this is C center of curvature and this is a focus this is the pole and the principal axis ok so now as the same way first we need to draw the rays from top of the object parallel to the principal axis on the onto the surface mirror pole now this wire this rays this is the parallel rays so this rays reflect and pass through focus extend this value extend this line ok so now from the same top we will draw this one passing through focus to the surface mirror surface 
and from this one we will draw a horizontal line which intersects this line where this intersects we get the image there we get the image there So, I have taken this one as 1 centimeter, we got less than 1 centimeter. So, image, this one is image. Image formation nature is real image, we in front of the mirror, so real image. Inverted, this one is inverted. So, if object is like this, the image is like this, means this is erect, that means a straight. Now, here it is in reverse. So, inverted, image formed between C and F that is center of curvature and focus and size is diminished that means somewhat decreased so diminished so this is at the position beyond c this is the second position now on the third position on center of curvature so one centimeter object object size one centimeter i'm taking so again same way draw a horizontal line to the pole then reflected passing through F extend this one then from the top of the object same passing through F to the pole again from it is reflected we draw a horizontal line so if you extend this one The intersection of these two rays will be on C, the same one. We can measure this one is also 1 centimeter. This one is also 1 centimeter, that is, object is 1 centimeter and also image formed is 1 centimeter. This one is object and this one is image. That is at C. So now nature of the image is real uh, because in front of the mirror real image and it is inverted and of the, of the same size and image formed is on C. It is on the second third position. Now fourth position uh, when the object is placed between C and F that is center of curvature and focal length. So I am placing exactly in the middle C and F object size I am taking same as 1 centimeter as I taken for all the positions so 1 centimeter height of the objects I am drawing the horizontal line that means the rays from top of the object to the surface then the reflecting rays passing from F focal focus then I will extend this one now from the same top position the rays pass through focus and hit on the surface now we will draw the horizontal ray where it meets the first ray so that intersection that intersection gives the image formation I am extending this principal axis line so that we can see the image formation clearly so this is the image formation that is the object so object size is one centimeter I have taken then we got the image we can observe that it is larger in size compared to the object So now the nature is real, it is inverted and also it is enlarged. You can clearly observe it is enlarged and image formation is beyond C, beyond C. Now here's fifth position that is on focus. So I'm drawing object on focus and placing same one centimeter length on F 
now same thing we'll draw the horizontal line from top of the object to the pole then i'm extending the principal axis now the reflecting ray okay i'm taking one more ray the reflecting ray from focus it passes through the focus coming back from the pole so that is the ray reflected back now the new ray from top of the object which means the center of curvature and it extends to the pole that is the second ray now these rays are extended with the dotted lines why i have taken from the center of curvature means these are the converging rays so converging rays for the concave mirror so the rays are extended but it it will not meet in any point we can't see so the image formation is at infinity we don't know the size whether it is erect or inverted so that's why only the position of the image is at infinity and no other properties for that now the last one between f and pole so exactly between i'm taking at midpoint of the f and pole 1 cm line same object size 1 cm 1 cm i'm drawing the vertical horizontal line to the surface then the reflecting ray passes back to the focus passing through the focus and you will extend this line behind the mirror then the same one the top position i am extending the line and extending the line behind the mirror and it will meets this the first line so where it intersects there we can take the so yes the image formation is behind the mirror so after this extension of these two rays from focus and also from the center of curvature where it intersects there is the image formation so as we observe the object size is smaller than compared to the image size so image size is enlarged so nature of the image is behind mirror and it is virtual why because it is appearing behind the mirror then it is enlarged comparatively we can say it is enlarged and it is erect so it is standing looks like a straight line so it is erect so these are all the ray diagrams of the concave mirror for all different positions of the object thank you